I'm Paul O'Dell, and here is your craft beer and brewing tip of the week. Within England's, they have something that's also called a sparkler. What that really is, it's a restrictor plate. So I don't have one here because it's you know our, our own homemade beer engine, but you can simulate one if you would like it. So what I have here is a stainless steel barb. And this stainless steel barb, you can get a cap for the end of it. So you just screw the cap right onto it. And you'll be able to drill about five or six, up to nine holes into it if you have a pretty good drill bit. This would then go directly into the tubing here. And what you've done is you've basically simulated that stout faucet that Guinness likes to use. It's a restrictor plate on the end of your swan neck. What does this do? It forces the limited amount of CO2 you already have in the beer out and gives you a thick, creamy head. Most of these English style ales are dextrinous. They're going to be have a huge head retention factor. Now, why is this done? Well, if you do the research in different areas of England and in different styles, some people love the sparkler and some people hate it. It seems to be something that's dominant in the north of England, not including London, but in the south, apparently a, beer, a big bar fight would break out if you ever try to use a sparkler on their beer. It's an item of contest, so they, they just debate it endlessly. So in this case, I'm serving a dark mild, which per style really doesn't use a sparkler, but you can feel free to do that. It will give you that big fluffy head. The downside is, is that you're gonna force almost all of the carbonation, which is limited, out of your final beer. If you would like to learn more about cast beer, please click the link below.